What is up guys? Welcome back to Ranch Avengers. I know it's been a while since I made a video and I appreciate you guys holding out waiting for a new update. Today's video involves a car that uh, you haven't seen in a while. Last time you saw it was probably in the video where me and Aaron had raced each other. Uh, I'll put a note up in whatever corner they go in. Uh, and then last time we actually even worked on the car um, was probably way back whenever we uh, whenever we first started making videos. Again, same thing, put a note up there somewhere. But hey, we're back on it, and uh, today Aaron gets dicks in the rear. Uh, I mean, Aaron's car gets rear discs, discs in the rear. That's what I meant. <laughs> So along with removing the rear brakes, uh, you know, removing the drums, putting in discs and everything, we're actually going to replace the entire rear trailing arms. Uh, this includes replacing these old junky uh, RTA bushings that someone jizzed all over in hopes that it would make them a little bit better somehow. Uh, get those gone, replace them with brand new hard race RTA bushings, uh, and uh, we should be good to go with that. So let's start by getting the uh, rear trailing arms off. Uh, in order to do this, the first thing you need to do is actually get the center console out, which we already did, uh, and then get those e-brake cables out of the way. We quickly realized the exhaust was going to be in our way, so we thought the best thing to do, just we go ahead and remove the, the exhaust. Now that we got the exhaust out of our way, uh, we can easily get to the heat shield bolts and then to the e-brake cables. Just want to hand it out to me. So now that the e-brake cables and everything is out of the way, uh, I started getting one of the rear trailing arms off, uh, though I quickly ran into an issue where one of the bolts was seized up. Uh, after the use of some fire and the trusty old Astro Glide, we were able to actually get the bolt out. Uh, it happened to be the one where the, the toe adjuster at the front of the rear trailing arm goes. Um, sadly, on the passenger side, the nut that holds it in on the back side of its little hidey hole uh, the nut had kind of like fallen out, uh, so I had to come up with some solution to fix that. The nut had actually fallen out of its place. It goes up in that little section of the frame. It had actually just fallen out of a place. It should have a slot that it kind of fits into. What I did was I drilled a hole from the bottom where there's already a small hole there. I drilled a little bit bigger so I could try to get a magnet and some tools up in there to, to be able to fish it back into place.
fucking screw it on this side. Guarantee it. So what I did after about two hours of dicking around with it, as I just drilled out the hole a little bit bigger down bottom, and I just fingered it like I finger your mom's belly button uh, until I got the nut in the right place, and then I was able to slide the bolt in, tighten it up, and just hold it there till I'm ready to put the rear trailing arm on. So now with the rear trailing arm mostly put back in, I went back to messing around with that front toe adjuster and getting that bolt put in there. Uh, you can see here where the e-brake cable is directly in my shot. If you can just look past that e-brake cable, uh, you can see where I fingered that hole the way the little Dutch boy fingers his butthole trying to keep the floodgates at bay. Yeah, what's up? I might need some help, I'm not sure. Yeah, um, I need... A pry bar. Okay. I'm not sure if there's one near me, but. It's about to back to the car. Okay, I need that. Anything else? Uh, not yet, but I'm gonna have you be on standby because I can only do all this one handed. Is that fine? Alright, I think I'm good. Thank you. Yep. So now that everything is finished up, getting stuffed into Aaron's rear, uh, I went ahead and went to the front of the car and started working on the proportioning valve. Some places online say, yeah, you gotta change the proportioning valve, others say you don't. Uh, we weren't really sure we had one, so we just went ahead and swapped it out just to be on the safe side. This is gonna be the not very fun part. Then once I finished up with that, uh, we finished running the e-brake cables and then started bleeding the brakes. And then, after all that, 
it's time for a test drive. And then after we took it for a test drive, we actually uh, ate some dinner and then came back and we did a pool because why wouldn't we? Thank you guys for watching this video. I know it's been a while, a long time coming. It'll probably be again another little while before another video comes out. Uh, just bear with me here. Uh, truck video coming up pretty soon. We're about finished up with it. Um, and then after that, hopefully going to be some drag racing. Um, not sure. Don't really have anything else really planned. So it's just going to be, you know, more stuff as it comes along. So thanks for watching, guys. Leave a comment if, uh, if you want. Uh, give the video a thumbs up or thumbs down, respectively. And uh, consider subscribing, and yeah, thanks for watching.